In this module, we are going to take a look at one of my favorite apps that you can use for editing your content before sending it over to your clients or publishing on your blog. And this app is called the Hemingway app. Let's check it out right now. So here we are on HemingwayApp.com. This app is completely free. You don't even have to log in or set up an account, which is quite rare these days. You can just go straight into the editor and start working right away, which is great because it saves you a lot of time and the app is working pretty fast. So let's take a look. Hemingway app makes your writing bold and clear. So we are going to simulate the Hemingway-esque style here, which is quite punchy and has short sentences. So as you can see, the app highlights lengthy, complex sentences and common errors. If you see a yellow sentence, shorten or split it. If you see a red highlight, your sentence is so dense and complicated that your readers will get lost trying to follow its meandering, splitting logic. Try editing the sentence to remove the red. So this is a really great tool uh, to use, not only with your own writing, but especially if you are working with other writers, if you are managing a freelance writing project, and let's say you are hiring people, as soon as somebody sends me any samples of their work, I plug this, uh, this sample into the Hemingway editor and I can instantly see if they can write properly and with high quality, right? So it doesn't only highlight uh, the lengthy and complex sentences, it also uh, highlights just uh, words that could be replaced with something a little bit simpler, like we have utilize here, which I know many writers like to use, but <clears throat> why don't you just use use? So you can just click on it and then uh, get into the, uh, get a shorter and simpler alternative. <clears throat> Plus, we have adverbs, so um, there's only a certain amount of adverbs that you should use in uh, each uh, article or piece that you are preparing, because if there are too many adverbs, it just doesn't sound right. And famous authors like Stephen King always advise you to get rid of, basically kill, kill off your adverbs. So this app is perfect for highlighting all of the adverbs in your text and also a passive voice. Uh, so you should ad avoid passive voice as much as you can because it's just, uh, it makes everything so much more boring, right? Like phrases in green have been marked to show passive voice, right? So this just, uh, sounds like a little bit boring and a little bit too academic. Like this issue has been taken care of or something like this. Instead of we took care of this issue or we are taking care of this issue right now. The more active you can be in your voice, the better it sounds. Okay, so you also have the desktop app here, but you don't really need it. I think it's something like $15 or, but this uh, Hemingway editor online works perfectly fine. And you can even format uh, your copy already here. So then it's also easier to uh, already see how the piece is going to look in the end. So I wouldn't recommend writing directly in the Hemingway app, because it's going to highlight your adverbs and passive voice and long sentences all the time. And it's going to 
stop you from uh, being so expressive and creative and just pouring out uh, all of your thoughts on to the computer screen as soon as possible. So I just like to use it during the editing phase. Uh, and perhaps we can even uh, go through a quick exercise here. And I'm going to show you how I would use it if I were editing a piece of content. So I'm going to paste a text that I have received from another writer recently. And you can see that uh, it has a readability score grade seven, which is good, right? So the lower it is, uh, the, the better, unless you are writing a really dense academic piece, uh, then perhaps you can go with a lower readability score. But I always advise you to stick to a readability score between six and nine or maximum 10, I would say. So the readability score is basically telling you how easy it is for an average reader to go through your text, which is really a great insight. Uh, because in today's world, everything is so rapid and you get all of these external stimuli just bombarding your attention <laughs> and capturing your attention all the time. So that's why the shorter your sentences, the better. And especially, that's especially true if you are writing a marketing piece. You want everything to be so clear that anybody can read it even with limited education or even if they are standing at a grocery line in a store and scrolling through their phone, right? We want our content to be crispy and short and readable. So as you can see, if we go through uh, this uh, piece over here, it's basically a description for a nutrition course that we are going to be uh, releasing soon on a different website. Um, you can see that perhaps here, uh, it doesn't really matter because this is more like a list of uh, things. Uh, but then let's say we have create your diet plan. So uh, identify the main diet factors and their impact on your body, and then create your diet plan according to your body's uh, requirement. So basically, if we wanted to just make it more punchy, make it shorter, then you could just end the sentence over here. Uh, so identify the main diet factors and their impact on your body. You could even <clears throat> just uh, set it up like this. Then create your diet plan according to your body's requirements. <clears throat> Excuse me. So eat mindfully, <laughs> that's okay. Right? Learn how your eating habits affect your health and mind. Uh, mm. Like start practicing mindful eating with experts and rebuild your relationship with food, right? So you can see that basically the idea is if you want to make everything uh, shorter, punchier and improve your, uh, the readability of your piece, you basically come up with uh, ways to split these long sentences into shorter uh, ones. And once upon a time, I've heard uh, some great piece of advice from a marketing expert, Jay Abraham. If uh, you are into marketing, you must know his stuff. So his idea was that uh, a sentence should represent only a single idea. So if you find yourself just squeezing two or three ideas into a single sentence, you know that this is not right. So just keep an eye on that. Just one sentence, one idea, then period, and then just go to the next thing. Of course, and you can use transition words to 
uh, glue everything together, but just don't go on forever in your sentences unless you are writing uh, an artistic literary piece, because uh, there are a few books, I think one of them is Moby Dick, actually, where uh, there is one sentence that I think is over 200 or even longer. 200 words or, or, or longer. So there are a couple of instances where you really want to flow and you don't want to stop the, the flow of your sentence because it's just so beautiful and let's say you want to represent some kind of creative inspiration uh, and, and really connect to the reader on another level. But if you are just trying to communicate and put your ideas across, then you should keep your sentences uh, as uh, short and as punchy as possible. Mm. So, for example, let's just go through one more. From healthy lifestyle to well-balanced diet plan. Learn everything in this professionally designed this doesn't really bring anything of value into the sentence, right? So this is another uh, tip for you here that you should just skip needless words. If there is a word in your sentence that just uh, the sentence would sound or, or would have the same meaning, but you can take this word uh, or phrase out of the sentence, then just do it, right? We don't need to produce just extra word count and make everything so fat and fluffy. No, it should be short, to the point, and uh, clear and readable. So this is the Hemingway app. Um, I really highly recommend that you add it to your bookmarks bar in your browser. And anytime you receive a piece of writing from somebody else, or you have written a piece and now you want to start editing it, just paste it in here and then you will immediately see what is the readability score, are you using too many adverbs, are you using passive voice, uh, are there sentences that have simpler alternatives. And uh, are there any sentences that are hard to read or very hard to read? And then you basically go through uh, the whole thing and just fix it until you achieve the right readability score and <clears throat> amount of uh, these uh, sentences that are correct. So this is not exact science, of course, um, but you should definitely do it if you want to spruce up your writing. Uh, and finally, um, I think that uh, to go through a piece like this would take you around, if you really know what you're doing and you have a little bit of practice, I think around 25 to 30 minutes. But this is definitely worth it, especially if you want to avoid any reworks and complaints from your clients and you just want to make them happy, send them your stuff and just uh, make them satisfied, okay? So that's what we've learned in this module. So I hope that you, if you've enjoyed it and I'm going to see you in the next one.